Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. So we're going to start our mini routine. So remember that these routines are gentle, but they are for everybody. And you will feel a great release in your body. So it doesn't matter which, which is your level of yoga, this routine will help you to stretch, release, and feel great. So are you ready? So let's start. So we're going to start on all fours. And from all four, remember that in yoga, we do a lot of things resting our weight in our hands. So what we are going to do to avoid wrist pain is to move the index fingers pointing forward and spread the other fingers. But instead to keep our fingers flat, we're going to kind of have it like we are um, gripping the ground, or holding the ground. So you press with your fingertips to you balance the weight between your wrist and your fingertips. Keep your shoulders above your hands and your hips above your knees. Point your toes away. And from here, we're just going to make a circle around with your shoulders. So we're going to move towards to the side, backwards, other side, and front. And we keep going. Let's go for four. And three. And two. And just one more. We change the direction. We just go four three, two, and last one. Back to center, we're going to turn around our hands, palms facing up, and we're just going to hold here for four breaths. Remember, you breathe in deep and long. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Just one more. And exhale. Move your palms back onto the ground. Index fingers pointing forward. Spread your fingers. Push with your fingertips so your fingers not flat, kind of gripping the ground. Now we're going to curl the toes under. We're going to go inhale and exhale. We're going to down dog. And here we're going to, from down dog, we're going to inhale, exhale, lift gently your right leg and bring it down. Let's go left. Don't force your body. Remember, we just start this. So we go gentle. Right, come up. Inhale, down. Exhale, left and down. Right and down. Left and down, right and down, left and down, last one, right and down, left and down. Drop your knees back onto the ground, sit back on your heels. This time we're going to place your fist on the ground to help us and give us a rest to the Rest. In case that you cannot go all the way down with your hips, just keep as low as you can go, as backwards as you can go, holding the ground. So let's go here. Now from here, we're going to lift the pelvis, open our chest, extend our thighs. Let's hold four breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go to and exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Release. Move your arms to the front. Make a circle with your wrist. Let's go. One, two, three, four. And change. Two, three, and four. Back on to all fours. Curl the toes under, down dog, extend your back. Now this time we're going to lift the legs to the side, okay? So we go inhale, exhale, open your leg to the side. Not too much, just tiny bit. Now back again, left, come up, and down. Right, and down. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you come down. And up, and down. And up without forcing our body. Again, up and down. Up. Just one more. Up and down. And up and down. Well done. 
drop your knees back onto the ground, raise your torso so we come into the kneeling position. You can keep your toes curled under to support more your knees or you can point them away, whatever you want. But it's important that you press your feet or your toes against the ground to release the weight from your knees. Now from here, we're going to move the arms to the front, palms facing each other, and we're going to lean backwards with your back straight. So it's going to be just tiny bit. You will feel it really strong in your thighs. Let's hold here for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And exhale. Just one more. And exhale. And we release. Back again onto all fours. And back again onto down dog. This time we're going to release the left hand. And we're going to twist towards to the right. Reaching you right ankle and we try to twist us to the right we hold here for four inhale as far as you can go with your hand let's go for three inhale and exhale let's go two and exhale only one more and we change other side Try to don't swing your weight to the side, keep the hips in the same position. We hold for four and exhale. Let's go for three and exhale. Two and exhale. Just one more and exhale. Release everybody. Drop your knees back again onto the ground. How you feel? Good, fantastic. Now from here we're going to step forward with your right foot. As far as you can go, slide the left knee backwards as much as you can. And we're just going to keep here our knee above your ankle. Now you can keep your palms on the ground or your feet or your fingertips. Lift your chest, extend here. And we just hold here for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Feeling nice stretch here. Let's go for three. As much as you can move the back leg backwards. Let's go two. Engage your tummy. And just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Well done. Now drop me your left palm. Bend the back leg. Catch your foot with the opposite hand if it's possible. In case that this is not possible for you, you can use a belt, a towel, or just keep the foot on the ground and we just twist like this. So we catch our foot, we press our, pull our foot to extend our thighs. We hold four breaths. Inhale. In case that you have pain on your knee, you can put a towel, a cushion under the knee. Let's go for three. Two. Remember to close your eyes and connect with your body. One more. And exhale. Release your foot gently. Now we're going to extend the front leg as far as you feel comfy to half a split. And we hold here. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. And one more. Breathe in. And breathe out. And bend your knee, everybody. A step backwards. We're going to swap the leg. A step forward, left foot. And remember to keep the knee above your ankle. Slide the back knee as much as you can and then it feels good for you. Keep your feet, your palms, all your fingertips on the ground. Lift your chest here. We're going to stretch here. Feel the stretch in your legs. Let's hold here for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go to an exhale and just one more inhale and exhale. Drop your right palm on the ground or keep your fist and bend the back leg if it's comfy. If not, you just keep your foot on the ground. 
we twist and hold the foot, we hold for four, and breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Drop your foot, extend the front leg, flex your foot if it's possible, as far as you don't feel pain. Remember that we stretch as far as we don't feel pain. Let's hold it here. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. And just one more. And breathe. Well done. We bend the front knee, we move forward, we step backwards, and we just go back again onto this position, kneeling position. Today is strong for our legs. Arms to the front, tilt backwards, hold for four, three, exhale, two, and just one more. In this part, the back is straight, so we just lean. In the next part, we go to the camel stretch. So we hold our hands, our hips, or our lower back, hands on your lower back and your hips to protect, elbows in, and we just arch here. If you feel comfy, you can drop your hands onto your heels and just open here our chest. We hold for four. Inhale, if it doesn't feel good, keep your hands at the back. Just arching here your back. Let's go for three more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And exhale. Just one more. And exhale. Release everybody. We back again onto all fours. And we go all the way down dog. Here you can slightly bend your legs to help to extend more your back. We hold for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Extend in your arms. Press with your fingertips. Engage your tummy. Two. And exhale. Just one more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Gently drop your knees back onto the ground. We're sitting back, child pose. Move your palms together, bend your elbows, move your hands behind your head. Just gonna hold here four breaths and pushing your bum down onto your heels. Let's go for four. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Two, and exhale, just one more, and exhale, release, and raise your torso. Now we're going to swing the legs to the front, and from here we're going to do half pigeon, I'm going to turn around so you can see me, so we're going to, from here, we're going to move the right leg at the front, and half pigeon, so the knee is aligned with your hip and your knee is aligned with your ankle. We have a square here, perfect square. The back knee is bent and dragging your heel closer as much as comfortable. So your chest is facing forward, the front knee is in front of your hip and the other knee is pointing to the side. And here from the pigeon, we flex our foot and we're gonna lean forward. We go inhale and exhale, we go down. And we just hold here four deep breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And exhale. And just one more. raise our torso all the way down and now the hand move towards to the side your right hand 
we lean to the side, we drop the elbow, and we stretch here as much as you can. And here we try to look towards the ceiling and open our chest. We hold here for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. It feels good. Open your chest. Two. And just one more. Reaching with your arm, palm facing down. Come all the way up, everybody. Now from here, same position of the legs. We're going to twist toes to the right is at the front. So we move our right hand and uh, left hand beside the thigh and we twist toes to the right side. The hand of the, uh, the right hand help you to, to support your back and go deeper into the twist. So we twist as much as we can. We hold here for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And exhale. And just one more. Make sure that your neck is moving as well backward. Release. Release your legs at the front, so we're going to change. So from the front, leg curl with the right foot, right leg, sorry. Move your foot close to your bum, and then move the knee beside the hip. The other one, move the knee in front of your hip, facing forward. Some of us, our knee will be higher. That's okay. Don't try to push the knee down. Give it time to the body to stretch, okay? So it doesn't matter if my knee is off, up, we lean forward. As much as we can go. Some of us here is already challenging. Just stay here. And some of us, our knee is already down. So we can go a little bit deeper. So let's hold here, everybody. Down as far as you can go. We hold four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Make sure that you don't feel pain on your knees. Let's go two. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Come all the way up. So here, it doesn't matter if your knee is up. You don't push it down, okay? Your right, left hand, sorry, is lie beside your hip. Drop the elbow and swing the other one over your head. Palm facing down. We look towards to the ceiling. And we hold here for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. And let's go two. Exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Come up. And we're going to twist. Now, super important here that you check or be aware of your neck okay they keep connecting with the rest of the spine let's twist toes to the left side so the left hand left hand help us to go deeper and the other one just in front of your thigh move your hip move your chest all the way towards to the left side lift your tummy engage your tummy remember that sensation of pulling your pubic bone towards the belly button to engage your lower tummy and your pelvic floor muscles let's hold on the twist Let's hold for four. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Well done. Release. We're going to move the legs to the front. Sit in child, so move your knees closer to you. Squeeze the inner thigh, let the head drop, and we're just going to hold here. It's important that here you keep your feet active, pushing the ground with a sensation of standing, so it will help us to keep the position. We hold here for four. 
And three, breathe in and breathe out. Let's go to breathe in and breathe out. And just one more, breathe in and breathe out. Raise your head, extend your legs to the front. We're going to tilt backwards, keeping your arms in front of you. And we're going to hold here four breaths, feeling the tension in your tummy. Let's hold four breaths. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more, as low as you can go. Now raise your torso, everybody. Extend your arms. You can bend your knees to straighten more your back. We're going to lean forward. Remember this part. If our tummy is far away from our legs, we're going to bend the knees to allow us to catch the feet and also to help us to fall forward. We hold here for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Two. And exhale. Just one more. And exhale. Raise your torso, everybody. Arms come up. Reaching, reaching up. Good. We drop our arms. And we can repeat everything from the top if we have time and we feel. So remember, you click on the chapter, so it's going to bring you back again when this routine starts, so you don't miss time. But if it's your time to go, let's finish the class. So we're going to cross our legs, hands onto prayer position. We're going to inhale, arms up. Exhale to your mouth, arms down. And we exaggerate this. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, arms down. Just one more. In. And exhale. And spray position. And we say namaste. Thank you for joining us. I hope you like the routine. See you in the next video. Remember to subscribe, like. And if you have any question in the poses or in the routines, please leave us a comment so we will be happy to answer your questions. Remember that you can find us in Instagram as a Sacred Body Studio. Check out our website, sacredbodystudio.com to check our new courses coming and also to check our 100% online yoga teaching training. We'll see you in the next video.